morning everyone welcome back to the channel welcome to a new day it's a sunday morning uh, bright and sunny we're gonna have a high today of 48 degrees so i am making myself some breakfast because i have a lot to do today and i want to make sure i eat before i get into it so i'm just making myself bacon egg and cheese uh, tacos breakfast i guess breakfast tacos <laughs> so yeah that's what i'm having as I've always said, I eat simple. Glenn is not a breakfast fan, but I am, so I'm making myself some breakfast. Last week I made myself uh, these exact same tacos, but I added a couple slices of avocado in them, and they were delicious. Except I don't have any avocados right now. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to eat my breakfast, and then I have tons to do today, so stay tuned. Hey everyone, so I just got done out of pick and save. I just came to get a couple of things we might need for Thanksgiving uh, Day. Not too much. We didn't really need too much. So, uh, so yeah, I'll have a little bit of a grocery haul for you. There's not, it's not a humongous one, but, uh, so yeah. And I need to head to the Dollar Tree to get a couple of things. So, uh, I'll see you at home and I'll show you what I got. Hey everyone. So I have been so busy today and I'm, I'm working on, <laughs> this is going to be my last big project of the year after this and I'm not doing any more big projects till after the new year and might not even be till next spring but uh yeah so I'm working on this has to do with getting the king size bed out I uh took the frame out today and I'll go over later what I actually did today but <laughs> I've been busy all day and I've been sick throughout the weekend I had a sinus infection, started Thursday night. Friday, I had such a bad headache. I've had chills, body aches, everything. Feeling much better today. Um, so, yeah. But still working on projects. But after this one, I am resting for the Christmas season. And only doing normal household work. So, uh, we're having open-faced sandwiches with this Encore Salisbury Steak. I've done this before, so I'm going to put some potatoes on my bread. All right, so, so yeah, it's actually 10.20 at night, and we're just eating. Our schedule for eating has been kind of messed up uh, because all the projects, the projects I've been doing and other stuff we've been doing, uh, our eating schedule has just kind of been out of, I don't know, <laughs> we just... We just haven't been eating the same lately. So, all right. So I got my potatoes there on my bread. Like I said, I've done this before. Just put a Salisbury steak on there. And this is so good too. But yeah, I am tired. And I have, I still have to do the little grocery haul for you. Haven't recorded that because I've been busy all day. All right, second layer. Oh, I should have put my potatoes on first. Hold on. Okay, so um, I knew I was going to have to do this project all summer long, but I am a huge procrastinator. I am. And I always wait to the last minute to do stuff because I work best under pressure. <laughs> I knew I would be able to get it done. Oh, so, yeah, I'll tell you a little bit more in the next video. But, yeah. It's for the better, actually. Um, I did a really good cleanup in both bedrooms. And we have a... Two bedrooms. One's a little smaller. This house is weirdly built. <laughs> it was built in the 40s. And uh, the bigger room, I guess you can call it the master, 
and it's kind of rectangular shaped and the second bedroom is more like a den size but actually once I cleaned it out today I guess you can say that's what I've been doing um, I really cleaned it out today took out all the totes and everything and it looks much bigger <laughs> without all the junk in there but anyway um, I'll be back with the grocery haul and a little tiny Dollar Tree haul. I only picked up a couple things, but that's my open face sandwich with the Encore Salisbury steak. I was going to do, uh, instant mashed potatoes, but I needed to use some potatoes. So we did real, or real mashed potatoes. Um, and we've got two Salisbury steaks left. So we'll have this for tomorrow night. We have been eating leftovers a lot no matter how little leftovers um trying not to waste food so and this uh basically you know stretches our our meals and everything so that's what we've been working on well so all right i'm beat but i'm gonna eat right now and i'll be back with the haul all right everyone so i have our very small uh, Kroger grocery haul here and when I'm done with this I'll bring on the even smaller Dollar Tree haul so didn't pick much up uh, just a few odds and ends so let's just go over this um, over here we got another butterball turkey and so this is uh, this makes two that we have now and that's gonna be for stock basically uh, meat stock in the freezer our second one so anytime you have a turkey this is like between 12 and 13 pounds so that's uh, gonna feed us quite a few times all right and got a pack of bacon uh, you already know I cut it in half and divvy it up into three different packs for two people over here there are six uh, honey crisp apples so for Thanksgiving week or for Thanksgiving day, um, I'm going to be making an apple pie and a pumpkin pie. I did that last year as well. Uh, so I'll be making the pies the day before Thanksgiving as well as the stuffing. And I even thought about making the mashed potatoes the day before Thanksgiving. <laughs> that way I don't have too much to do on Thanksgiving day. So we'll see about the mashed potatoes but the pies and the stuffing are definitely being made the day before thanksgiving so yeah it's thanksgiving week uh what do you guys have planned are you doing a family thing are you doing it by yourself drop it in the comments let me know what you're all doing uh as you know it's just glenn and i and our fur baby so we'll be doing it by ourselves and I don't know if I mentioned this already, but Glenn is coming in the house on Wednesday uh, for the season. And so, yeah, he'll be in the house the day before Thanksgiving. Um, yeah, we couldn't. The thought of him staying in the trailer for Thanksgiving Day just was not good. Uh, I don't want him in the trailer for Thanksgiving Day. Of course, I, if he was, I would have went out there to eat with him. But. I don't want them in the trailer for Thanksgiving Day. And it's going to start getting colder in the daytime and nighttime. He does have a heater in there, um, as well as my zero-degree sleeping bag. But it's time to come in. I want him in the house now, and I want him in before Thanksgiving. So, all right. And he even said, um, because we'll have to go get our Christmas tree after Thanksgiving, he even said, because he's been walking uh, you know, a little more active in the past month. So he feels like he would be able to walk out of the house um, as long as I park his scooter by the door and he can get to the truck. That way we can go together to get the Christmas tree and then uh, maybe go look at some Christmas lights afterwards. Who knows? But yeah, so a lot of stuff coming up. All right, so back onto this little haul. <laughs> so yeah, the apples for uh, they smell so good. Oh, I could just eat one right now. It smells so good, such a sweet smell. Yeah, these are Honeycrisp apples, 
And then I just picked up myself a couple of avocados. I like avocados and I always like to have them in the house. Picked up some sour cream. We're just out of sour cream. <laughs> uh, I picked up another can of Bruce's Candy Yams. Uh, we already do have two cans, but I always just like to keep a little bit of stock on that. Because we have it, you know, throughout the year as well. Like if we have a chicken dinner or if we have another turkey dinner. You just never know. And you can have it with anything. I did get a can of evaporated milk for my pumpkin pie that I'm going to make. And I just used the Libby's recipe, and it's so good. All right, and every year <laughs> during this time, Christmas season, I know it's not even Thanksgiving yet, but uh, everything for Christmas is already out. But every year, at least once, I like to pick up these cherry cordials. I, I don't know if that's how it's pronounced, uh, by Little Debbie's. They're these moon pies with a cherry filling in them. I love these things. So every year I like to get them at least once. And I picked them up today because they run out so fast and they don't replace them. They don't reorder them. So once they're gone, they're gone for the season. So when I saw those, oop, I'm taking it. <laughs> All right. So I got those. And then I picked up a, a box of white cake mix and yellow cake mix. Um, I saw a couple of recipes for different uh, cookies and snacks uh, using cake mixes. So I just wanted to try some. So I just picked that up and I picked up this tub of sliced strawberries and sugar. As you know, if you've been with the channel for a while, we always eat this as a side dish with our chicken patties. So anytime I make mashed potatoes, I always make enough for the next night to make chicken patties. And we have this. Now, the last time we had this, we said it's way too expensive to get. So what we did was we we ate, we ate had enough for chicken patties for two nights. So we ate only half of this for two people. So we actually got four servings out of it last time. So that's what we'll do again. But I also had a dollar digital coupon for this. So it was a dollar off. So... Got it for less and we'll make it last um, two nights instead of one for two people. Um, but I'm not sure if we're going to have chicken patties. We were going to have chicken patties tomorrow, but we still have enough of the Encore Salisbury steak. There's two left. So we'll probably eat that with the rest of the mashed potatoes and just I'll put these in the freezer that have already been in the freezer uh, those will just be for another night of chicken patties we'll already have it and then I got some more vanilla ice cream uh, Glenn likes to have vanilla ice cream with his apple pie um, and also we still got some root beer left so we can have root beer floats or whatever but that is um, oh and I did pick up some uh, uh, like pep Pepsi products, they were on sale as well. Not the greatest sale, but I just picked some up. Um, and I filled up a five-gallon jug of water. So, and that's drinking water, obviously. So I got that as well. So that's our little grocery haul. And I'm going to put this away and I'll bring in our even smaller Dollar Tree haul. All right, everyone, so here is my huge Dollar Tree haul. <laughs> yes, that is everything. Um, I try to uh, <laughs> contain myself when I go to the Dollar Tree, and I usually put stuff in the basket and then put it back <laughs> because I always just like, mm, I don't want to spend that money, <laughs> uh, you know, so it's, it's just kind of so hard to go in the Dollar Tree and not come out with stuff, but it's, I don't usually have Dollar Tree hauls, and I don't go a lot, I don't remember the last time, oh, uh, for before Halloween, I think it was, that I went to the Dollar Tree last, because I bought that fall stuff, yep. So, this is what I picked up. Um, I did get some goobers. I love goobers. And so, I like to get them when I see them. Um, I did get Glenn some snow caps. Uh, I don't know if you know what those are. 
they're like a little chocolate candy with white sprinkles on them and I also love Ghirardelli Caramels so good so <laughs> got that and then I needed some tape so I just got this it really pained me to get this because you can't even see how much there is that's how little there is um, but I needed some tape right now <laughs> and I didn't feel like going to Walmart. The stores are starting to get super crowded and that's when I don't like to go. Um, but yeah, so I, I bit the bullet and paid for this little bit of scotch tape. Oh yeah. On the back. I, oh, I think I tried to rip it off to see, but then it was the only one there. So I figured I better get it. Yeah. You can barely see that there's hardly anything there. So that's that. And then um, I don't know if you guys use command hooks, those real small ones. Let me grab one to see if uh, you recognize it. All right. So I don't know if you can see this. I'm going to try to. It's clear. So. OK, so this is the small command hook. It's an actual command hook and. There's this like little hook here and there's a slit there where you can hang stuff. This is, they come in different sizes. This is the very small one. They come with the medium and a large. I've had these for so long and I use these to clip in my Christmas light wires. So when I put Christmas light wires around the window, I actually stick these on the seal and hook in the Christmas light wire. And it works really good. So I needed some more. I don't have any more of these small ones. So I went, when I went to the Dollar Tree, I know they used to have some like real small packs of them. And I was willing to bite the bullet to spend the dollar twenty five like on a couple of them. But if you get a pack, I don't know how many come in. It, it they're like eleven to twelve dollars, and I didn't really feel like spending that kind of money right now <laughs> or ever. <laughs> um, but so I thought I'd try the Dollar Tree version. They're not clear, but they are white, and they do have a clip in there. Uh, same concept as this one. So um, I'm going to try it and see if it works. You can see they have the same strips as the command, the command hooks. But these command hooks, if you leave them for a long time, their tape goes to crap. It doesn't even work anymore. So Glenn has this really strong uh, sticky back tape that I've been using. And it works really well. So, so yeah, I need this. Um, so I need some to put some of my lights up because I use uh, tape in a couple of spots and they're falling down. So I got to use them. So that's what I needed that for. But <laughs> that was a long story, huh? <laughs> All right. So um, next, uh, these three things. Cool. So as you know, I've been talking about doing some Christmas Christmas crafts. And when I showed you all that stuff in the tote, I have so much of it. And when I went in Dollar Tree today, I'm like, oh, that's cute. That's cute. That's cute. I, I could get this and this and this. I didn't want to do that. You know, that's how I get myself in trouble. I start putting stuff in the basket that I don't need right now. Um, so I did pick up three things that I don't have and I'll show you what that is. So um, Dollar Tree sells like mini fairy lights, um, not very strong or sturdy, but, but they have these. I don't know if you've ever seen these at the Dollar Tree, LED colored Christmas lights. There's 10 of them. It's three foot long. And I wanted to try them to see how they look. I've never gotten these before. And I thought they would be great for a, a Dollar Tree or a, a Christmas uh, DIY. So I wanna, I'm going to put some batteries in here so we can see how they look. You want to see how they look? I thought so. Let me get some batteries. All right. So it calls for two 
Oh, I hope it's double A's, not triple A's. I hate triple A's. That's the tape. Two double A's, good. Look at this little tiny screwdriver. <laughs> this is a tool that comes with all my fairy lights. And pretty much any light box like this comes, uh, needs that screwdriver. So, oh yeah, what a busy day it's been, but a good day. So, um, with Glenn coming in the house Wednesday, so Tuesday, um, I don't know if you remember the reason why Glenn is still in the trailer is because I wanted to go to that wildlife park Christmas drive through and we're going, it started on Saturday, so we decided, see, we like to go to stuff during the weekdays, because it makes us feel like we're playing hooky from school or work or something, <laughs> and there's less people, so we decided we're going to go on Tuesday, so that's what we're doing on Tuesday, and then Glenn could come in the house on Wednesday, and then Thursday's Thanksgiving, so it'll be perfect, all right, so I got these rechargeable batteries. So yeah, I've been, I've just been busy with stuff. And like I said, our meals have kind of been off this week. And so yeah, after uh, Glenn gets in the house, I've got everything ready for him. And uh, I'm kind of uh, building uh, somewhat of a craft room. And... So I'm pretty excited about that. So I can really uh, have a spot to really craft. Because I have a lot of stuff. Not just that stuff I showed you guys in the tote. But I have like uh, Mod Podge. Which is a liquid type of glue for craft that a lot of crafters use. It's really common. I've got some paints and some other stuff. Alright, let's see how these work. Oh, very dim. <laughs> Let's turn off the lights. Oh, not too bad. Let's turn off the other lights. And let's turn off the camera light. Okay, not too bad. Now, what it could also... Maybe they could be brighter, but these rechargeable batteries... They only have so much life and so many uses and charges, and we've had these for a very long time. And I recharge all my batteries, but they lose, they tend to lose charge as they sit, the older they get. So these could possibly be brighter, but it's not too bad. Yeah, I'll have to get some new charged batteries and see if that makes a difference, but that's what they look like. All right, let me turn some lights back on. Okay. All right, so that's that. And then these... These are the miniatures, cobblestone corners. So Dollar Tree sells uh, like Christmas village figurines and like little figures, miniatures and churches and things like that. And the brand is cobblestone uh, cor corners. And this, this is white picket fence. There's seven pieces in there and you can glue them together or whatever. But look, it has a wreath. And this is great for a, a craft, a Christmas DIY craft, where if, like, you could do a shadow box and put, like, uh, as if the there was a, a white picket fence there. So, and the reason I picked this up and this right here, this box, is there was only a couple left. And... Much like the, the Christmas stuff at Kroger, 
once these are gone, they're gone. They don't reorder for the season. So I wanted to make sure I got some. All right. So yeah, I got that. And then this, look how beautiful that is. That is so cool. One, it's got the red barn, which I love red barns, especially in the winter and Christmas time. And now, a lot of stuff has the little red truck, which I'm fine with, but I wanted something different. And when I saw this wooden station wagon, I believe that's what it is, I thought that was so cool. And it's got a Christmas tree on top, and the background is kind of like that white whitewashed wood. Oh, there was no way I was passing that up. I have never seen that box before. And Glenn thought it was really cool too. So, <laughs> but now let's open it up. You would think it's a, a gift box, right? Look at the inside. That would make a perfect shadow box. You wouldn't have to do too much to this. So what I, the first thing I would do is line it with lights all the way around. And you can find little, uh, fairy fairy light type things at Dollar Tree in red, blue, yellow, white. Um, but yeah, that's the first thing I would do is light it. And then I thought to glue, and even Glenn got into it. He's all, you know, this is what I would do. And we had the same thought again, is to glue down some uh, miniature Christmas trees right here on the side. And Glenn even thought, these white picket fences would be good right here so so yeah we're gonna play with this in that you wouldn't even have to do too much to this to have it look like have it be a shadow box that is so cool looking I love that car we love Glenn and I both love old cars vintage cars so yeah we thought that was cool now, they only had a couple of these, which I probably should have picked both of them up because this one I would want to leave just like this and add to it. Uh, well, not leave just like this. I would want to add my stuff to it and make it that shadow box. But if you wanted to do something else with it, you could really use every side of this box. So let's say I had a second one. I would cut this out or... You even have one right here, and you could do like a frame or Mod Podge it to wood or whatever. Um, but you can even use the sides, cut out the sides and use them for a DIY. The back, all this whitewashed wood backing, you could use that for a DIY. Now this isn't a sticker right here, this is actually into that material. So if you were to use it, you would just have to put something over that. Most likely, most likely you would. But how beautiful is that? Oh, I love this box. I should have picked both of them up. <laughs> but, but yeah, that's all I uh, picked up at the Dollar Tree. Believe me, I had other things in my basket and I put them back. <laughs> just because I want to see exactly what I already have. Um, that way I'm just not throwing stuff in my basket and paying for it if I already have it. Because I know I have a lot of stuff. So, so yeah, that's uh, the grocery haul and the Dollar Tree haul. But I'm going to go ahead and close this video out here. Um, like I said earlier, I'll talk more about what I've been doing today. Uh, probably in the next video. And I have some friend mail to share with you. So that'll also be in the next video. So I hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving week and a wonderful Thanksgiving. I'll keep making videos all week. So um, I'm not just saying that because I'm not posting this week. I am posting. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you guys are doing for Thanksgiving. All right. And that's it. <laughs> that's all I got. All right, so thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch my videos. I truly appreciate all your support. And don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment. 
And with that, remember to live life, be good to yourself, and be good to others. Until next time.